Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Pop Tart Lee, and I'm super excited for this video. Um, been looking forward to this one for a while. Last year, as it goes now, um, one of my buddies, you'll know him as the Poptimist UK, uh, reached out to me, telling me that there's a big sale on Amazon.com, which is the American site of the Smuggler's Bounty boxes, some of the past boxes, did I want any ordering, um, as he manages to get stuff sent through, through US shipping, and I thought, well, yeah, go on then, what is that? And he's not got me one, <laughs> he's got me two, which I've been super excited to unbox. I'm gonna unbox one definitely now, and then I'm gonna see how long that takes, and whether or not we go into two, or whether we do a separate video because I, I know it's not gonna be for everyone, but I'm super excited. These are old boxes, so a lot of people will have seen them before. Before I unbox them, just very quickly, you're gonna get bored of me saying it, but 222 is still going, competition's still live, competition giveaway's still live. Please get involved if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, let's get to 222, and some great prizes are gonna be coming somebody's way. Enough of that, anyway, let's get into these. So, one sealed, one isn't. I'm gonna go with this one first because this is the one I'm super excited about. I don't know the name of the box, but I'm gonna say Wookie because of what's on the top. This one, it has been unsealed because to be fair to Daz, Poptimist, he did make me aware that there was an issue with the pop box, but I'm an out of box, so as you see, so it makes no odds to me. So I'll just check on the cheat card and see if it says what the actual box is called. No, it doesn't. I'll show you the spoiler sheet at the end, but first item is a t-shirt. So this is a Chewbacca t-shirt. And this is Let the Wookiee Win. That's super cool. I mean, if I haven't mentioned it before, obviously I'm a Star Wars, not I love Star Wars, I love everything about it, but Chewbacca is my absolute favorite character. I absolutely adore him. I believe, this now means that I've got all of the Chewbacca Pops apart from the very original one, um, but I've got quite a Chewbacca collection. I do have bits and bobs, um, Black Series, four slink figures, I pick them up if I see them, because I love him. But that is a super cool t-shirt. I've ordered it in a medium, as uh, these always seem to go a little bit big, but let's have a look and see if it fits. There you go, happy with that. That's a nice t-shirt, really happy to have that. Like I said, um, massive Chewbacca fan. Looking to meet the actor Junus Swatman in May at MCON. So I might even wear that to this, wear this to that even. As I say, easy for me to say. Right, next item then is, we'll leave the pop till last. There's a box, which I could have opened before, but there you go. It's that, it is a Chewbacca pint glass. Holding the pork, uh, Millennium Falcon on it. Hopefully, that's picking that up. That's super cool. That'll definitely be being used. Really happy with that. As well as that, there is two more items. We've got a mystery mini, which, because it'll take me a while to open, I'll open that and I'll put a picture up for you. That is Captain Moromiro. So he's cool. And then, obviously, the main thing for this is the pop. So it is Chewbacca with the oxygen mask. This is from the Narmak attack. That's the damage I told you about on the box, which, like I said, is coming out of the box. So that really doesn't make any odds to me. Super cool pop. Um, like I said, probably the standard mould for all the Chewbacca pops, but the addition of the mask, I think, is it's just super cool to watch it. Such a small part of the film, but they've made a pop out of it. And there you go. So he's amazing. Really, really happy to add him to my Chewbacca collection. I mean, there's not in it, a lot in it, sorry, between this and a standard Chewbacca. But I just think he looks super cool with that mask on. And yeah, I'm really happy to have that one. So let me know in the comments what you think of that box. Like I said, the boxes cost me, I actually haven't mentioned that, they were 21 pound a box. That includes shipping them to Daz, sorting them all out. So for me, absolute bargain. That's the card that they came with. So I know Smuggler's Mount is now finished, 
So hopefully they'll do some of the other boxes because I did quite like the Rise of Skywalker box they've recently done. There was a Darth Vader box as well. So I think this is about my fifth Smuggler's Bounty box in total from different places. I've always really liked them. So let me know in the comments what you think. I'm looking at the running time of this one. It's gone a little bit longer than they normally do. So I'm going to do the next box as a separate video. So if you want to see that, you'll have to come back in the next one. Usual YouTube housekeeping. Thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscription button. What's the worst that can happen? Giveaways running. I'm saying that again, but I'm going to keep saying it. Um, current subscribers, thank you ever so much for subscribing. And if you like what I'm doing, hit that notification bell. Comment, like, share, the usual. I'm waffling. That's the usual as well. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be obviously part two of this, where I will open this one. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye now.